This is where players go when they get called out, but much more happens before this point. They have to go sign waivers and go through many safety precautions to keep themselves and everybody else on the field safe. Um, before each game, we always call up a safety briefing. No one's allowed on the field unless they have a safety briefing. That's where we go through all the different rules, the safety precautions. Uh, what players have to do to their guns, uh, they need to make sure they're set up, which means going into the chrono. Uh, that's where they are going to shoot over a radar. Uh, that actually tells how fast the paint is actually traveling out of the gun and adjusts it to where it's at a safe uh, speed. For example, here is 285 feet per second. So as long as the player can get at least three shots under 285, they're safe to go out. But in paintball, the make of the gun is just important as the rules of the game. Um, basically, you have the gun itself. Uh, that won't really do much without a tank on there, which kind of propels the bolt. Uh, which is propelled by the, the CO2 or high pressure air tank which the bolts are held in the hopper above the gun and if any of those things go wrong your gun's gonna leak pretty bad and not work. I spend around 40 hours a week fixing guns because most time when people bring guns in here that are broke it's just because they're dirty. They can be dangerous if you don't wear the proper like mask and safety equipment. Uh, that's the number one rule in paintball is never lift your mask. Uh, these paintballs are traveling 194.4 miles an hour and you take one to the face or you take one to the eye well, you basically just lost your eye. I uh, saw a guy break his leg. Someone completely removed their kneecap from their knee. People slide in um, breaking bones. I've actually been hospitalized for getting shot in the temple. I've rolled a couple ankles playing paintball. I have slid in and got cuts and scrapes, but no major injuries. So it can happen. You are dealing with the outdoors. You are also moving around and it's a full contact sport in most cases. The structures and rules play a big role in paintball, but what makes the experience different for everybody is the thrill of the game. Yes, uh, paintball is a high energy impact sport. Basically, everybody comes over here, has a good time. They're out in the woods, shooting each other, having fun. Anybody can play. Uh, our youngest player, I think, is six years old, and our oldest player is 76. So it's at everybody's pace. What I like about playing paintball is, well, it's fun, fast. You know, you get out here, you can slide around, dive in the bunkers and stuff. It seemed like a fun idea, just something different. I'd never tried it before. What I don't like is that overshooting. It's kind of scary a little bit because, like, Paintballs are like flying everywhere, but you don't know where anyone's really at. Uh, get hit with a paintball and it leaves a nice little goose egg. The most common? Welts. It does hurt to, in some cases. Uh, the, of course, the closer you are to the player that shot you, the more it's going to hurt. Uh, but it mostly feels like someone rolled up a towel and just kind of smacked you in the bottom. No, it doesn't hurt to get shot. It does depend on where you get shot and how close and everything like that, but paintballs surprise you, but they don't necessarily hurt. Just stings initially, and then it kind of goes away. But yeah, it's, it's definitely a powerful punch. A lot of people think it hurts really bad. It doesn't hurt as much as people think. Uh, not when you get shot like once or twice. Like if you get shot like four times by like one person, it starts to hurt a little bit more. The pain is part of the game, but the skill is what makes the game. It all it all depends on the style of play you want to do. If you want to do speed ball, you're going to be looking at practicing a lot. If you're doing woods ball, it's just whatever it takes to get out there. It does take a decent amount of time to get good at it. It's a competitive sport, so a lot of times some of the better teams come out and you get beat pretty bad sometimes. I practice playing paintball all the time. Um, even when I'm not actually playing paintball, I'm still out on the field watching people and seeing where they go and the best ways to play certain fields. So I'm always practicing. I'm very committed. Um, I'm out here every weekend playing paintball and I, it's pretty much all I think about. At the end of the day, paintball is more than a game. It's a way of life. But every good thing must come to an end. And after a long day in the field, a break to clean up isn't so bad. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Dalen Filippiak.